Hello everyone, I am Alyssa Kelsey from Media Club of Sophia Senior Secondary School, Lalakpura, Jaipur and I am here attending first ever science exhibition of the school. On the third floor, we have uh, students from classes 6 to 12 displaying their working models. We are here to uh, interview some students who are currently displaying their projects on today's special event that is the science exhibition. What made you choose this particular project? Science is a big universe, but why this particular uh, project? Actually, we saw there is a bridge in India that is Pamban Bridge in Rameshwaram, Tamil Nadu. So we got, we got inspired from that bridge. Okay. And we made this. Interesting, and I agree that the was in So I wish you all the very best on your science education. May a lot of peace see it, and I hope you have a great day ahead. So I would like to ask, when, what inspired you to do this particular project? We got idea like uh, last time I went to Sofia Ajmer, Sofia Ghatgate and there I saw uh, the science exhibition. So there a lot of projects were there and one of them was this project. So we got inspired from there and we thought of making this project. Wow, that is in very interesting and how long did it take for you to finish the project? It took us one month. Almost one month. Wow. And I can definitely see that that one month hard work is paying off. Are you happy about the fact that your hard work is paying off today? Yes. 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 And what lesson have you learned during this pro process of making this project together? What was the lesson you learned? Although it is the most important thing. We can't get to any person. Yes, that is in very true. And all the very best for the science exhibition. May many parents see it and appreciate your hard work and have a marvelous day ahead. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to, so, uh, to Sophia TV. We have some parents joining us. So, sir, madam, how, how is the first exhibition of us? Yeah, it's very really nice and very creative models. Uh, right, uh, what feedback do you like? It's very appreciable. The kind of different you know, aspects touched upon. It's very really nice to see. And in fact, my uh, my girl is also learning a little bit. She's in first class. Oh, wow. And she's also seeing what all she has to do in her future. Alright, any funny books? Actually, I feel you are all students. We for starting a thing or for doing it, it's very good. And you can prove it any time you have. Always have a support in you. And now we are here with class 7C with their amazing, beautifully aesthetic project. So, men all of you need. Kushi. Alright, so um, Kushi, you made your, I'm assuming your project is about the digestive system, right? So I'm guessing you must be a foodie but that inspired you to make this? Yes. yes. Alright, that is so interesting and um, best you, you have, what's, the, what's your project? Uh, my project is about the soil profile. Soil profile, alright. So I hope you become a uh, geologist when you grow up. Alright, so I have a question related to that. What was the easiest part of making this project and the hardest? The hardest part was uh, making different, uh, differentiating between these layers. Like they always got mixed up and uh, the easiest part was putting up all the Alright, that's so interesting. Um, Divyanka, I have a question. What are you feeling right now knowing that you are one of the first students to display the first exhibition of our school? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling really good. That is my first exhibition of this school. And I'm really excited also to just explain everything and all. One last question. What models did you learn during this time when you were working with the team? Teamwork. Teamwork. And yes. hard work. Alright. That's true. Teamwork and hard work are go great together as they say. So I wish you all the very best. Thank you. And I hope you have a great day ahead. And I, I wish that many and many people may come see your project and may they realize that your hard work has really paid off.
बात है कि बहुत अच्छा लगा कि साइंस में बच्चों को इतना इंटरेस्ट है और इतनी अच्छे अच्छे प्रोजेक्ट बनाए उन्होंने जो मुझे मुझे भी नई नई चीज़ें जाने पड़ती है डिस्कवरी की ज़रूरत है यस ये करते रहो और आप ही हमारे फ्यूचर हो हमारे देश के नई नई चीज़ें हमें आपसे मिलने वाली हैं The front six and, and I am more curious than ever to find out what they all are about. It's about the respiratory system. What it's all about, respiratory system. When we breathe in, air gets into our nasal cavity and right after getting into our nasal cavity, it moves into our larynx. Larynx is the box wherein voice gets produced and right after getting into our larynx, it goes down our larynx and it reaches to our bronchi. Now bronchi is the part wherein our larynx gets divided into two parts. Right after this, our bronchi gets divided into more parts which are known as bronchioles. Now on these bronchioles are attached some sac-like structures which are known as alveoli. Alveoli help in gaseous exchange and these are our lungs which help in the process of respiration. This is our diaphragm which relaxes when we breathe in and it contracts when we breathe out. This was all. Alright, and this is Welcome back to Sophia TV. I am Elsa Kelsey and we are here with class 9B and 10B. Good morning, sister. Is it okay if I interview and ask you some questions? Yes, sir. How are you feeling knowing that this is the first exhibition of our school? I feel very happy and thrilled because our students have learned a lot and they have taken a lot of trouble to prepare each model and each model is also very knowledgeable one, inspirational one plus the students have also learned a lot while preparing the model that is why I am happy to see my energetic students who have do, done a wonderful project Yes, I completely agree um, If you were a student, if you were a science student which model would you be? Which topic would you cover? I like that functioning of the heart. Alright, functioning of the heart and not me. That's interesting. And one last big question. What message would you like to give to each one of us? I want to tell my students, this is a way when you prepare a project or a model, you learn a lot. You learn to work together in a group. You also learn to read a lot beyond the subject that is given to you in order to get better information about a particular model that is you are asked. So there is also uh, knowledge is created, you gain a lot plus this knowledge will remain with you because you have done it by yourself. So you will not forget that rote learning also can be avoided. Alright sister, thank you so much for your precious time and have a great day. God bless you. The we all know that the heart passes the blood to our body through the blood vessels of the circulatory system. Now, during this process, the deoxygenated blood from the right atrium goes into the right ventricle through the superior vena cava, and the oxygenated blood from the left atrium goes into the left ventricle through pulmonary vein. After this, the deoxygenated blood from the right atrium goes into the right ventricle, goes into the left pulmonary artery, whereas the oxygenated blood from the left atrium goes in the body to the heart. And the last thing, all the four chambers are relaxed, and the deoxygenated blood is from the from the body part comes into the right atrium, and the oxygenated blood from the lungs comes into the left atrium. Passing over to Zia. Did you know the heart is about the size of a fist in an adult? The heart beats around 150,000 times each day. The, the heart forms around 2,000 gallons of blood every day. The electric system controls the beating of a heart. The heart can still beat even after it's disconnected from a body. Thank you. Wow, those were a lot of numbers and very fun facts. So I have a very funny question, but. If you were one of the organs of the body, which would you be and why? Uh, we definitely like to be the heart as it's a rather important and vital organ. Without the heart, the survival of human is rather impossible. And it also has various functions and it's rather a mystery for the scientists and doctors around the world. This is the working model of a hydraulic lift. The hydraulic lift works on the principle.
principle of Pascal's law, which states that the pressure exerted on one point of an object is equally transmitted to the other. Let us see how it works. Sure. If you were a physics professor, what would you do? Um, uh, I would really like to be uh, something with related to electricity or magnets, which are, because I'm really fascinated by the fact that we have so many researchers uh, which really contradicts each other's facts. So I would really like to research in that. That's really good. Um, well, I wish you all the very best. Thank you, Aditya. Now we are here with Sister Principal to have a sweet quick interview and let's see what she has to say about this grand event. Very good morning sister. Good morning. Um, sister, first of all I would like to know that um, how does it feel to know that there is a grand event, a science exhibition happening for the first time, not to mention after two years of lockdown and pandemic, how does it feel to know that it's so great? I too feel great because my students have done uh, this exhibition and uh, I believe that future they will be doing very well. For improvement? Yes. I want the children to take help from the parents, teachers, and they should excel in their field whatever they are doing. Alright, yes. And one last question. What moral values would you like to see in us as Sophians? As Sophians, I want to tell them first thing, love and respect your parents. Parents brings blessing for the students. Yes, yes. If students are blessed, school is blessed. Love parents, respect them and obey them. Yes, sister, I completely agree with that. I wish you all the very best for the future. Have a great day. Thank you. God bless you. Well, that was one of the best time exhibitions I ever I've ever seen. The hard work of students is definitely paid off. I'm sure all of these are going to be they are budding scientists of the school and I'm sure they grow up to be great inspirations for our planet. This is Alyssa Kesi, Leader Club in charge of Sophia Senior Secondary School, Larapura Jaipur, signing off. Have a great day ahead.